Welcome to the Zen Zone. Zen Lee here at OneRide.eu, the headquarters of electric unicycles and all things electric in Spain. Today we're going to be covering the links, some tips and tricks that I've uncovered or have learned since I've been riding this wheel from trial and error. And I want to save you guys some pain and some angst by revealing some tips and tricks that may be useful to you. Not all of them apply to the links, but most of them do. Some of them apply to all electric unicycles in general. But check out some of these items that OneRide.eu has, these underwater jets, electric unicycles, tons of pneumatics, tons of pads, huge pad selection, tons of spare parts, electric unicycles everywhere. I love it. it this is, it feels like an electric store here. And plenty of safety gear and helmets. If you ever get the chance, check out OneRide.eu. Amazing experience. And I have a discount code, ZENLEE50. We'll get you 5% off anything in the store, I do believe. Test it out, 5% off anything in the store when you're buying a, a Lynx, which is 3,900 euro. You're gonna get 5% off, which was quite a bit. ZENLEE50. All right, so we are here at an abandoned F1 track in Valencia, Spain. You saw us at one ride. Now we're at an open track where we can do some tests. And there's an amusement park right behind us that we've ridden in before quite a good time so the links we had some issues yesterday with the links trying to fix them today Ooh. We can do something. yeah it's perfect so we had some issues with the links the kickstand was too big so we removed it the reason it's too big for racing I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing it's even kind of a bumper but if you come off the wheel it could uh, potentially hit your shins because it's so big and you have to really get away from the wheel, especially if it's spinning around. So we removed the kickstand. You can see here, there is no more kickstand. It still looks good, I think, without it. It doesn't look, I mean, it still looks amazing. It's an amazing looking wheel. The mud guard we trimmed up a bit. Anton trimmed it because it was broken. You guys maybe saw that in the last video, how it was broken. Now it is no longer broken and uh but it's not long enough and so some water is flicking up onto my backpack and on the back of the wheel and the charging ports are on the back so that's something to be aware of the charging port is on the back there's two charging ports here under the cover cover seems to be doing a pretty good job the other so oh and another you know, the negative with the kickstand is it catching on stairs or rocks if you're doing some rugged hardcore off-riding or if you're at a skate park and you're going off a steep incline and you don't get enough speed, that huge kickstand on the back can catch on. So that was a huge safety issue. These pedals are also pretty sharp. Like uh, if they hit your shins or, I mean, they could actually cut you like a knife. We've had a friend that had his Achilles tendon cut on pedals similar to this very sharp edges and it hits your shin it hurts it happened to me a few times yesterday that's why i'm bringing you this video today so that you can avoid some of the pain that i have received from this wheel it is a advanced level wheel if you are a beginner please consider getting something else first because it might save you a lot of pain and injury if you're in love with this wheel and this is the wheel you want most though here are some tips and tricks to avoid having it spin and hit you in random ways so you need to go on the screen here we're going to go over a few options on this screen you hold this button right here and then you use this one to toggle so we're going to show you all our settings here these are like the most optimal settings so far that we found we're still experimenting lots of experimentation to do stay tuned for more um, the important one sleep mode Voltage. Okay, so this is if you run in low on battery and you need some emergency reserves, you can turn. Wait, is that the right one mode? I think so. I have it off. Oh, high speed mode. This is high speed mode. Okay, and now it's angle. This is the important one that we wanted to talk about that will save you some pain. 45 is a pretty has been pretty good for me. We had it set higher, maybe at like 60 or 55, and that does not give it enough time to cut out. 45 should give you almost all you need and that will save you some this thing is a chainsaw when it's spinning fast it has so much torque so much power that if it if you're off-roading and it you come off it in the wrong way and you don't have a good cutout angle this will cut you like a chainsaw it has that much power in it it hurts my knee knee pads really saved me yesterday so that cutout angle
that cut it that cutout angle really saved me uh, there's a high speed mode and there is a low battery reserve mode too i haven't played around with those too much the high speed mode gives you more speed but less torque so if you're most people you don't really need the high speed mode unless you're on a straight we're going to do some experimentation because one of our other complaints with this wheel was it was it's a really gusty wheel or it uh it's like a sail it's a big tall wheel your pedals are high up it puts your body high so when you're riding fast the wind can really affect you and really give you some wobbles or just hit you in a weird way so we let out some psi and we adjusted our suspension the suspension feels much 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 better even for jumps it feels much better and i think we have more traction and again we let out some psi from the tire so we're going to do some high speed tests to see if that gives us more test it's not too windy of a day but uh, maybe we can try to see if we're just getting more stability. What other issues was I having with this wheel? Or some other tips? We have lots of tips. I have like a whole notepad full of them. Uh, an update on the buttons. That was a big issue we were having with the buttons. And this actually caused me an injury yesterday. The button getting jammed. Okay, now, the note on these. This is a prototype that has the old buttons. If you bought a batch one from one ride, one rides batch one already has upgraded buttons that will not have this problem and they're sending me a new one that will not have this problem but this button's getting jammed it wasn't just because of the sand it's just they're kind of not the best quality buttons uh so the ones from one ride batch one will have the latest upgrades mine does not and then the trolley handle my trolley handle is taped down now got a lock on the back it's good if you need to lock up your wheel but it's probably gonna be safe anywhere i put it uh yeah, the trolley handle's locked down. The button's jamming. One ride has the updates. I do want to put a street tire on this. Oh, we added some, uh, the kickstand is now these front bumpers that Anton put on there, just some, uh, some plastic or some rubber. This is the way I'll be setting it down now. It's not as cool, not as rugged looking, but uh, this kickstand is just a little bit too big. The Patton, the Sherman S had the right amount of kickstand. This one's too big. All right, so uh, I think I pretty much hit all the notes for now. Keep, stay tuned to this channel. We're gonna try to give you Psycho and I regular content. Psycho's doing more like stunts, stunts type of stuff on there. And I'm doing more just, uh, what am I doing with it? <laughs> just enjoying it really. I love this wheel, it feels good. This suspension with other wheels, my knees have some problems, but the suspension on this wheel is much more comfortable. So I'm just enjoying cruising around casual. My new favorite speed is like 65, like going 65 is pretty good. So, but we're going to try to go a little bit faster today. Hopefully Psycho can catch some of the speed for you. Let's go ahead and get on the road. I want to ride with day. Yeah. Oh, well. All right. Today you, today you have the library. Huh? You I'll try. If I had my more safety gear, I'd feel better about it. My confidence comes from my gear. The better my gear is, the more confidence I have to go fast. A pause? Huh? A pause. Uh, pause. Here we go. Let's see if I can get up to 80 today. I don't have all my safety gear on, so I'm not as confident in my speed. I do trust this wheel, I think, more than any other wheel I've had before. I really feel like it has some cutout protection that other wheels don't. But you never know. It's a new, brand new wheel, and if the buttons are having issues, other things could be having issues as well. We're going about 45 right now. Let's pick it up to 55. I love the way this thing purrs. It's pretty amazing. So we're coming up on the motorcycle riders. Go pretty good at 60. Man, yeah, 60 is my favorite speed, man. I don't like to go too much faster than that now. Whew. This is where we can kind of step on it. Is that a unicycle ride? Right? should be on <laughs> 70. Whew. And then braking. Braking is amazing on this wheel, holy cow. Okay, I only hit it out 70 and I was feeling a little bit nervous about the speeds without all my gear on. Uh, I don't think we have much more light. Thank you guys for the video. 
if it does feel more stable. It's not a windy day, so it's really hard to test the, the stability, but it feels more stable, more connected. The suspension adjustments, the tire pressure. Thank you to One Ride for making this all happen. Thank you to Psychotherapeutic for being an amazing cameraman. Everybody loves Psychotherapeutic. He's teaching more people than anybody I've ever met. So check him out it's at Psychotherapeutic on IG. Amazing person, amazing soul. And thank you, everybody that's leaving comments and helping share out the stream and helping grow. We're trying to combat congestion here in Spain. Spain has so many vehicles or in terms of cars taking up space. You can never find a parking space if you're in a car. Driving a car here is super stressful in Spain. These take away that stress. These give you fun. They make you feel like a superhero. Electric unicycles are, man, they really are an amazing device. But right now you gotta wear your safety gear and be responsible. We're still in the early stages. We're still early adopters of this technology. So be safe, be respectful. And until next time, stay in the Zen Zone. Those in Lakes and League.